Good morning guys! So it is currently, I think just gone half ten. We had a bit of a lie in this morning because we're used to getting up at six o'clock. I've got these glasses. Um, we woke up at half six and then we said, oh, should we just grab another two hours and wake up at nine o'clock? So we did. We woke up at nine o'clock. Everyone got dressed, been down to the toilet, um, had showers, brushed our teeth and things and then had breakfast. And then what I decided to do is just make a picnic for everyone because we're just going to have a picnic down at the park later on when it's dinner time. Um, so I thought rather than walk up this hill back to the campsite and make food, we'll just have a picnic down there and get the most of the rides that we can. So it's pretty windy up here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and then we will catch up with you as well. Life is good, best I've ever felt. So we're currently making our way down to the theme park. I would probably say it's a good 10 minute walk from where we're staying to the theme park. So it's a gorgeous day guys, honestly. So when you stay here, or if you're camping here, or if you're in a motor home here, what happens is the theme park closes at half six, but the outdoor parks stay open so you can use them throughout the day as well. So the children are currently on Oma Tower. <laughs> leaving the indoor soft play area they've got a couple of rides there as you guys have seen we're now going to head up to the zoo and the petting area so we went down the dino tracks yesterday which is just there um, but the, the other part of the park is up here and then on your right uh, there's a huge pirate ship there there's also a few other rides up there as well but as you head up, as you head on up to that way you head up to the petting zoo and um, so yeah we're really interested in that um, that was a massive indoor soft player for the kids of huge slides and stuff really good for little ones obviously Sean wasn't interested in it but um, Caleb and Logan loved it and they also had a little play area for Khaleesi as well and this is the map of the whole park um, the largest family theme park in Devon at Woodlands so we went through there yesterday came to these slides which I'll give you guys the names today and we're just so excited we just went on them um, and then we've just been inside uh, here and um, the sea monster zone we're gonna now head up to the pirate ship um, and then head into the petting zoo area up here and there's also some tractors there by the looks of it as well and we also went on that yesterday as well the cyclone canyon zone uh, we've not been in this part yet but we'll be going there as well well there's quite a lot to do as you can see so we're just outside of the seascape and 
mirror mirrors all gonna go in there no pressure is allowed so Sean's gonna sit this one out with Khaleesi because she has fallen asleep <laughs> Oh, it's pretty dark in here. I don't know if you can see us. It's a mirror. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, oh, it's I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, let's run yeah, someone, someone was like, someone got right there and they started running for him. It's like, oh, I know how I do it. Bangers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's run into him. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Did you just run into one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you okay, Kayla? <laughs> Keep your hands out. Okay. <laughs> Because my head is hit to me. Mom, why is she just going to walk in the dark? <laughs> I didn't know that, Dion. And there we go. That's the end of the mirror maze. So the children have just finished up on Vertigo, uh, like a little drop ride over there. We're now heading off down into the park um, and there's some little water paddle boards here. They're like, um, not like boats, they're like little circle loops. I'll show you guys better light on this side as well, just over here. So we're going to take the kids over onto this. Uh, look at the goats, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> Check out these guys. <laughs> oh, my word. Look at those little horns, those little hooves as well. Oh, what? Yeah. They look like you girls. Must love it every day in here. In all the attention. Got a little for sale sign here as well. If you're interested in buying something, a little fowl. I got a four year old filly. Take a good home. Yearling. You can buy them. Can buy, can buy these? Really? Should we take one back to Newcastle with us? <laughs> right, which one do you want to buy? Eight hours. I think we should, <laughs> we should buy him that little white one down there and bring him back to Newcastle. Oh, you can actually buy food for them. We we'll put them in the back garden, Steph. Rather than have a dog, we're going to have a goat. Yeah. <laughs> you think that would be sick, wouldn't it? It says, um, food provided by the entrance chaos is okay. We've got, we should buy that little white one. Bring her back to Newcastle as a souvenir. Hey, my Yeah, I mean, it looks like a boy. Oh, ostriches. They've decided to jump on the trampoline. Oh, but there they are. Let's leave them there for a little bit while we go and have a look at the ostriches, yeah? Are they ostriches? They're going to be. Oh, look, the llamas. I don't know if they are ostriches. They'll have to be the sign. They don't look like ostriches. No, it's not okay. And I've made a tackle bite. Oh, oh well. my god. Look at him. Oh my god. I've gone for that water like you don't know what. He probably could Bruce have Yeah. These guys though, they look a bit... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's ponies further up, yeah? We'll get the sign and we'll tell you guys what they are. But if anybody knows what they are right now, just drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know. Look. There's two little llamas lying down right over there. I'm sure these are llamas. And look, I hope we could come closer so we can give them a little stroke. Okay, I'm, I'm, 
I know you're probably friendly, but you look very intimidating. Right, I'm going to go see the ponies. Hello! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's like flies right near your eye. Look at that! Oh my god, they're so soft. A little itch. <laughs> Turn the camera. Hello. Hello there. So cute. Did you know, Logan? A llama's stomach has three compartments. No, I don't know that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? They're very intelligent and curious. Lizzie, look. Where's the ponies? Where's the pony? Hi, pony. So there's four barns, and we're just heading into the first barn now. Chinese geese, I think. Oh, there's Chinese geese. <laughs> Look at them. What's that on the top of his head? I don't know. And they got all of the chickens and stuff and ducks at the back. How do you think of all this noise? And what do we have over here? Full on bulls. Real size, the guys. <laughs> oh, McDonald had a farm. E -A -E -A -O. And on that farm, he had some ducks. E -A -E -A -O. It was quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everybody quack quack. <laughs> Are we on old McDonald's farm? It feels like it, doesn't it? They look mad, those Chinese geese. This is the top of the skull looks really crazy, doesn't it? Like how thick it is on the top. And here we come. And turtles in the house, eh? Yeah. Oh man, look how beautiful they look. So this is the second barn that we've just been in. We've just went in the other one over there where the um, cows and stuff were. I think there's also a reptile barn as well, so we're looking forward to going to see the reptiles. And I think there's some birds of prey here as well. So the one I've just came out of is called Rabbit City. Um, just over on my right over here, we have one called Night Creatures Hideout. So I think that's like bats and maybe it's owls and stuff. So we're gonna have a look in that one. Look at the size of this caterpillar. Whoa. Look at the size oh of that caterpillar. Look guys, look at the caterpillar. Can't touch it. And they can't bite, I've got to be careful. You yeah, can touch them a lot. Oh, it's so soft and squishy. Yeah, it's gentle. I'd feel very bad when he's on the edge of the door. Don't and close it yet. I know, but this door slams it, the poor thing's gonna die. Do and I don't, I don't know if I wanna move him. You wanna pick it up on the floor? I think we should move him because if, if he, this, this door slams, he's gonna get yeah, squished, the poor thing. Put, put him on some grass or something if you just can. He's got a good one. Oh, he's coming. He's good. Mwah! Oh, he's going, he's going. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> The hungry caterpillar. Look, everyone's stuck in there. Bat stuck in there. Oh, we got him. Wait, where should we put him? Put Can him over here. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his little head. Can I touch it? Yeah. Is it could Guys, be careful. There's going to be a pretty butterfly. This oh. one's going to be. He's looking for somewhere to crawl. Let's put him in here. There we go. <laughs> so cute. We're batting. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Check out this, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Because we've been to some before where they flow around freely. No one's the safari park up by Liverpool. Yeah. Would they fly around freely in there? Yeah. yeah. We found the bats. Look at them. Oh. He's just dangling upside down. This guy. Just having a little hang up there, are they? Check out this guy. With the red door, this looks like vampire stuff, doesn't it? With, with it being like a red glow. These are Egyptian fruit bats. Egyptian fruit bats. Pretty cool. Why do the rats have to be like... There's ferrets! There's ferrets! Oh, wow. 
Look at that one in the dish. That's a polka. I used to have these when I was a kid, you know. Loved them. I know, it's Really nice animals, they are. They do stink, but. Yeah. Pretty intelligent as well, they are. Oh wow. Whoa, look at the size of this thing. Look how big he is. This is 15 foot long. Let's have a look at his head. 15 foot long. Oh my god. He's massive. Is that a green Lagana? Oh my god. Wow, he's huge. Look at the spikes on his feet. No, he's definitely not green. He's been a bit orange, honey. Did you know in you can burn 31 miles per hour? Whoa! Um, that's 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 they also do animal activities as well. So on Monday at 11 o'clock, they do a meet and greet. And they do oh, pig handling. Goal. So you can handle a guinea pig at 4 o'clock. Oh, that's cool. And Wednesdays, what day was Tuesday? Tuesday, yes. meat, meat cat feeding. Meat cat feeding? Uh, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Oh well. Yeah. Might come back. 2 o'clock? Yeah, but we're going to go for lunch soon after this. Anything, we could come back up here and we could feed some meat cats. We'll get a yeah. long piping that we can go through. So, did it say that you could actually meet the Burmese python or do you think he's probably like too big to be handled? Uh, it just says reptiles meet and greet. Oh well, you could actually meet him on a Tuesday if you book a Tuesday. Wednesday is rabbit handling and ferrets. Oh, I like the handle of ferrets. Oh. And Wednesday, four plus three flying. Airsport, airsport. Ah, yeah, that'd be the birds of prey, yeah. I'd like to see that. But you could stay for the week and get to meet them all, couldn't you? Yeah. The meeting that we've just seen outside. Yeah. That's mm. their egg. Wow, it's a big egg. Yeah, and that one's a duck egg. And that's a blue leg. So that's like the comparison between, and that's the skin of the Burmese python as well, isn't it? It's a lot of skin. And just over here we have a royal python. So a different species. Yeah. It's just chilling at Thailand, there he is. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is where they come from in Africa. Giant plated lizard. Oh, yes. Yeah. Look at them two. It must be a breeding pair or something. It's relatively more warmer in here. Have you felt the temperature change? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a little walk around here. Oh, guys, you get to see the full head of the python, guys. He's right at the front. Where? I don't know if anybody can notice there's a crocodile just at the back over here. And apparently it's a real crocodile, isn't it? Yeah. Snappy dwarf. The snappy dwarf crocodile. Lives very happily with his little friends. Eats very few weeks, mainly rat or small mammals. So, he won't eat those turtles, will you not? No. He's like, just happy just chilling with them. Yeah. Oh, I want a turtle. That's cool out. So cute. It's a dwarf crocodile can fight with a force of 3,700 PSI. I'll do the Yeah, pounds for square inch. human can fight with a force of 162 <laughs> And a hippopotamus can bite at 1,800 psi. I would have thought a hippopotamus was stronger. I would have thought a hippopotamus would be stronger. Yeah. Oh, the, the psi on, on a crocodile is, is unreal for the pressure. And it says crocodiles evolved around 200 million years ago, along with dinosaurs. Oh, wow. Crocodiles still survive today, but dinosaurs became extinct around 65 million years ago. Wow, so beautiful. Prehistoric. Two meerkats, guys. Check out these. Look at that one. I know I thought he was gone for a moment, but he's actually something behaving. <laughs> Look at that one on the lookout up there. There's always one on the lookout. You could, could, he could be playing dead right now, couldn't he? And you'd fake everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's woke up. The day. If I take him, I'll you out onto the farm. Then I won't let you go. Put your arms around me, and I'll let you know how it feels when time goes slow. And I won't let it rush when I see you. So 
so we decided to stop by this little picnic bench to have a picnic today. Uh, there is quite a few, there's some over there in the sun, there's a few out here in the shade. I would say to sit in the shade. We've just finished, Khaleesi has just literally finished hers. Oh. She's having a few skips now after her lovely tuna sandwich. She's got some mess. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of taking up time to do. Uh, the kids all finished as well. So, you fancy going down into the raid area where all the raids are now? Yeah. Yeah, he's done for the farm? Yeah. Yeah. A pretty, pretty good farm, wasn't it? Yeah, I enjoy the farm. The children are currently on the ship, but I think it's broke because it started to go and then it just stopped. Yeah, as you can see, they've just put the handbars back up and then back down. currently walking up this huge hill because we're going on the water coaster guys there's three different water coasters here so you have the twister the rapids slide winder and this is where you queue so they've got the hours on the floor for each one which was so much fun that we enjoyed them that much yesterday that we decided to go back on them today. Now we're going to explore um, a little bit further down in the park that I haven't explored yet. So we're currently doing the Fantasy Forest Maze. Okay, you tell us something. You did? I think you've done that like in one minute. <laughs> Guys, if in doubt and you lose your weight, always stick to the right. That's what they say. What? Anyway, so stick to the right. If you get lost, you should always stick to your right and then that's the way out. Apparently. Well done. Okay. <laughs> but I think Caleb's stuck in there. I'll go get him. So these are the pedal boats, but they're not on today. Which is such a shame. So we wanted to do the... So is it the bear tunnel? Tango Trolls Mystery Maze but it's all closed as well which is such a shame guys but now we're going to I think we're trying to follow this um, so we're walking back up because there's nothing else down there it was just a pedal board and then that was it really so I think we're going to head back up to the main part of the park and then turn left this time so there is loads of different parks here this looks really good and then so it's like a little tree house and then we've got all this as well so all this is opened once the park has been closed if you are sitting here doing some camping or if you're in a motorhome so the kids are about to go on this big massive slide like they just drops um and it looks absolutely terrifying from where i'm standing um there's two here i'll just turn you guys around and show you guys what that actually is um so they've got these two slides here which as you can see are pretty high. Got the sprinkler ones there where you can have a race and stuff. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty powerful. So the kids are gonna go on there. I think Logan's gonna take you on as well of the GoPro. Cause I find my way. Uh 
How did you think the look? <laughs> scary, but not that scary at the same time. Yeah, you seem to have dealt with it quite well. Do you want to go on them little things? No, he said that doesn't help that much with her, the kid. Does like he, he not? He was like, he's been on here like 20 oh, times. Let's kill him. <laughs> he's coming on me, aren't it? Kill him. Yeah, because <laughs> I know I'll be okay. Because I found my way. We've all just finished up the slides and stuff. Uh, we're going to explore a little bit further up at the top of the park as there's a few more things that we have not done yet. Uh, so we'll keep you guys up and show you guys also what is up there. Uh, it's a top viewpoint for you guys, what it looks like. <sighs> and then you've got like a little swing, merry go round thing over there. Uh, so everywhere you look is a soft play or a climbing frame or outdoor climbing slides. Um, isn't that right? Every corner you go to, there's a slide, Stephanie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Slides. yeah. Um, I want to go down that one. <laughs> but, but no big kids allowed. Yeah, no big kids allowed in that one. And then she, you were going to go on that one up there that Dion and Logan's been on. And then you were like, no. Yeah, a scared. Yeah, there is a weight limit. I think 18 stone, isn't it? 18 stone, yeah. Yeah, which we'd be fine to go on because we're not 18 stone. But I know I might go on. I do, I do fancy it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I do, yeah. I'll go on a few more. Right, okay then, come on. So, me and Stephanie actually did go on that, and what did you think? It's it, scary, the drop. The drop like, you come actually. to a point like that, and then that's when it starts to get scary, and then you just drop it, and then boom, as you can see, like, the speed. I felt like I was going to do like a full like, roly poly forward, <laughs> and end up on the side of the slide. Uh, Caleb is currently on the Polar Pirate. Oh, he's going to pull up Paris. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you going yeah. on Logan? Come on, yeah. Can you go on? <laughs> no, I think it's limited, very yeah. limited, isn't it? Um, but yeah, there's the Paula pilots. Paula pilots, you're too tall. Too tall. Oh, height restrictions and stuff. But yeah, here at Woodlands, the Paula pilots. So, we are going to go to the Falcon Centre, but there's not always enough hours in the day. Um, we have just missed it, but they have a show on tomorrow between half 12 and 3 o'clock. So I think we'll be popping in before we leave to go to our next location tomorrow. Um, so we do have something else booked for tomorrow for the kids. But yeah, one of the things I was looking forward to for actually coming to Woodlands was their Birds of Prey. As me and Logan absolutely love our Birds of Prey. Um, but also we're heading into the circus. Area, yeah. I don't know if it's an actual circus or just the name they called it. It is a ginormous soft plate, another ginormous soft plate. Then you've got one pool table, a couple of arcade games. That one will be good when you have to try and step on the ones that light up. You've got a table hockey, a couple of chairs. This is always fun. We like playing on this. And then if you go down the stairs, this is the giant soft play area. We've got a bouncy castle. Is that bouncy castle? Yeah. Yeah. We should get our ball pit for our birthday.
So there's lots of seats indoors as well to have picnics in here which is great and then some seating outdoors as well The master blaster <laughs> Wow I think the older children will be interested in this I was going to go and get them off the bouncy castle so they can come and have a look at the master blaster So, oh, you want to go and have a go on the master blaster? I want to see what it is That looks pretty good, go and have a look Yeah, no problem. What? Fruit shoot. Fruit shoot. Oh, milkshake. Milkshake each. Oh, wow. Alright, okay. Um, any cold drinks there for us? Yeah. Yeah. Look. Okay. I think I might just get a. Can I take a please? I'll have a Coca Cola, Stephanie. You want a Coca Yeah. A bottle of Coke, yeah? Yeah, a bottle of Coke, yeah. Can I take a bottle of coke yeah. and strawberry small milkshake? So what we got you? Yeah? Your fruit juice? Yeah. Don't copy the anchor. Now what did you get Sean? Yeah, There's no milkshakes on was it? No, you just cleaned it down the day. No, he just sanitized the whole machine down. He was like to put enough milkshake or two fruit like that clean it again, clean again clean I suppose. The so yeah. it's cost a pound, which is not bad for. Not bad for a few refreshments. No, and look a little Khaleesi. Making short work of that fruit juice. Is that nice? Yes. Yum yum yum. You I need to buy now, a couple you? of these from the shop and keep them in the van. Yeah, yeah. Because she, she loves these bottles. She finds uh -huh. these bottles so easy to use. Yeah. So we are back up from the theme park. Um, absolutely great, guys. Um, this is our spot that we got relocated to last night. Um, we were staying a little bit further down, but the angle that we were on was like that a little bit. That well it wasn't that bad but it was a little bit tilted also we left the compost toilet back at home as well because we weren't doing it planning doing any wild camping but as we got down here stephanie was saying should we do some wild camping when we're down here so i don't know maybe it's next time we should just keep everything in the van what do you think what every happened? everything should just get kept in the van next time so we left our compost toilet back back at home yeah. now we want to do a bit of wild camping when we're down here yeah. we left our stabilizers back at home we had to move pitch because of that i think we should keep everything in the van and not take it out but it's hard because sometimes you take things out to have a little bit more space for other things don't you well it's because we took everything out because we needed to get the space blue suitcase in because we were staying yeah we're staying in uh, an accommodation in a hotel room yeah. um but in any way this is where we're all pitched up at the moment this is a little <laughs> layout <laughs> i love it guys tents up there as usual everybody's sitting around Chris has got a little play mat out there and um, she does have a brolly that goes on top of it but she's not used it today because she hasn't been on for very long she's had breakfast on there this morning um, and this is basically where we're staying um, they actually relocated us here um, there was a group of people over there when we first turned up the, their kids were playing football over there with our kids um, but they relocated us here um, and they said that today was the first day when they were going to be doing work um, some maintenance on this area but they postponed it for us so that was really nice of them to postpone it but nice enough to relocate us up here even though they didn't have to and um, because there was basically no other spaces available but this part really really busy wasn't it yeah we were being a bank holiday weekend it was super busy but yeah i'll notice that about the park as well like the queues all a bit shorter but i think it's because the children go back to school next week do they? So everyone's getting prepared and like get back, get, get ready to school, getting their uniforms not sorted out, getting the kids back in a routine. Um, so I suppose that's why it's a little bit more quieter now. Um, but um, they're nice enough to move us up here. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, they didn't, they they could have said, well, we can't really put you anywhere because the place where we're staying now should be having maintenance done it today. But they were nice enough to postpone it. So yeah, big ups to Woodlands. Um, really like the staff here. Them to cater to your needs and so far the park has been really really good the kids have loved it we have given them the option today and um, to say whether they want to stay at this park for half the day tomorrow until six o'clock if they want to um because we get free admission all day tomorrow um or do they want to go to our next place that we've got planned for them now it's a split decision at the moment two saying they want to stay here and two saying that they want to go Personally, I prefer to go to the next place because I know what I, I know more about that next place that we're going to. And I think that we've done everything 
that's on the park. We have done everything that's on the park that's except the falconry. The, yeah, exactly. So we're going to get a move with tonight's tea. Now a lot of you guys have suggested that we use a slow cooker. So thanks for the rec recommendation, guys. Um, we already have a pressure cooker. Which I know a slow cooker takes longer, it can take up to 36 hours depending on what setting you have it on. Um, but we're not really around the site for that long to be uh, cooking food that way. Sometimes we are but it's very very rare. Normally we're on the go like constantly. So I've got a pressure cooker which I've had for ages. Uh, we do know like a couple of recipes that are really really nice in there. But if you guys have any suggestions on recipes for a pressure cooker let me know in the comments down below so pressure cooker is a little bit different to a slow cooker it gets things done a lot quicker but there is things that you can't really cook in there that you would be able to cook in a slow cooker but a pressure cooker can take like 10 minutes or half an hour to get a meal done but i am looking for new ones so if you have any pressure cooker recipes leave a comment down below guys and let me know and also thank you for the recommendation about getting a slow cooker somebody also recommended an air fryer as well didn't they an air fryer for us yeah they did yeah, yeah. that would be pretty good i mean yeah and we thought about a microwave cook... as well didn't we but we're thinking where would we put the microwave well we weren't thinking about a microwave it was a microwave slash oven yeah micro oven or something micro like oven yeah and um, we're thinking about getting one of them but I don't think we've really got enough space in this van no, to have not. that. Well, we could probably make it, but it's just one of the things. But then you would like have to take less clothes and things like that. Um, but tonight's meal, we are having spaghetti bolognese. Now we're not going to have it with the peppers and onions and things like that. How we normally make it back at home, we're just going to make it with mince, a bit of sauce, and some fresh basil and cheese. So we got the mince brown on away here, um, and Stephanie has also put the pasta in the pressure cooker. Uh -oh. Felicity's all buckled up at the back, just chilling there. Let it turn his pan down a little bit, too high. That's better. And while the food's cooking, I thought, you know what? Treat yourself to a nice lovely can of beer. So I'm a nice can of Stella. Um, weather's been absolutely great today, absolutely beautiful. I could have actually sat around all day, just barbecued, had beers and just chilled. But when you've got a beautiful theme park like this on your doorstep, there's no excuse not to use it. And help Stephanie with the cooking. Can Stephanie's. Some cheese? Yeah, I'll get you some cheese out. Are you going to show them your new table? Yeah, show them. Yeah, so. From there. Yeah, I'll show them from there. And um, so basically, our table that we had that we made ourselves, basically, and um, we painted it white, but it wasn't really feasible because what happened was it got dirty once in a while, and when you went to wipe it down, the stains were still there. So we came up with a solution. Well, I didn't come up with a solution. Stephanie came up with a solution. She's been. She's probably going to show you some new, new things that she's got in this van, which is really, really good. Um, she's just got the, this brilliant mindset for picking out little, nice little ideas, and I'm like, oh, I can't believe you just thought of that. I never thought about that. It's the finishing touches. Yeah, finishing touches. Leave that down to the women. They're really good at it. But I'll show you what Stephanie's managed to do with this table. So check out this table. Um, as you can see, it's a marble effect. It's had a makeover, guys. Yeah, it's had a makeover. It was just a plain wooden white table, but wooden white paint. Yeah. Um, but when you've this got is, kids. Oh and yeah. Mess, especially Khaleesi now that she's grabbing things. Hundred percent. Really hard to clean. Now this is perfect. Just wipeable and all of the stains and all of the dirt wipes off 